What's going on, my math party people? Anderson here, your ASVAB coach. And today, we've got a little treat for you. We got a challenge question submitted from one of my students here. And I want to break this down for you because at the end of the day, challenge questions on the ASVAB a lot of the times rely on like a bit of knowledge and a bit of like savviness to really understand how it works. So it's not always going to be really calculating intensive. These challenge questions are really about, hey, do you know the material well enough to see the shortcut? That's what this is about. So before we get to this problem here, I want to make sure you understand that I do have a free class once a week, typically on Mondays, that I want you to sign up for. Because the sign up also includes a free practice test for the ASVAB, which has video solutions so you can learn from every mistake. Who doesn't want that, right? So go ahead, make sure to find the link in the description of this video somewhere. That way you can go ahead, get free practice, free classes, and keep moving forward the right way. I also do have a full program, but if you haven't seen how I teach yet, don't even bother. All right, so the link to both of those, the free classes and the full program will be in the description of the video. But until you watch this video, let's go ahead and get to it. So it says here, the ratio of the sides of two squares is three to one. Now, what is the ratio of their perimeters? Okay, so again, this is a challenge question because not everybody understands how ratios and uh, geometry really blend in. So here's the thing. What is perimeter? Perimeter is pretty much adding up all the sides, right? So watch this. Let me just go ahead and show you how to get this done nice and easy. So here we go. I'm going to check this out and I'm going to say, hey, all right, let's just make an example here. This is one way to solve these challenge questions. These kind of abstract, kind of weird questions. You can use examples to see what this is. So look, if the ratio of the sides of two squares is three to one, what that means is, let's go ahead and draw square A over here. Okay, cool. That's kind of like a square. All right, and I'll say this is the bigger square. And then we have square B over here. And I'm gonna make this one a little smaller, okay? Make this one slightly smaller. So again, the ratio of the sides is three to one. So what I can say is, hey, look, side A, you know, one of the sides for A could be, let's go ahead and say three. And again, you can use easy examples. You can use easy examples. And the ratio for side B, let's go ahead and call that, you know, let's say one. Again, the ratio is three to one. So again, what that means is the sides of A are three times bigger than the sides of B. That's what a ratio of three to one really means. So if I'm checking these out, right, I got my B here, got my A over there. If I'm checking these out, well, what's the ratio, the ratio, not ratio, of their perimeters? If we check that out now, well, find the perimeters, find the ratio. I'm gonna tell you right now, the answer is gonna be three to one. Because when it comes to perimeter, all you're doing is adding up those sides. And so when you add the same thing in the same way, you're still comparing the same things in the same way. And so therefore the answer will stay three to one. But let me just go ahead and show you. The perimeter for A, three plus three plus three plus three. So that's gonna be three times four essentially, which is 12. Then here we have one, 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 and one, which is again, the same thing as saying one times four, and that's gonna be four. So the perimeters of these shapes, are 12 and four. So let me just go ahead and kind of uh, try to highlight them or circle them here one more time right there. So if I, I'm gonna place this right here next to me, we have a ratio of 12 to four. Can we simplify this? Absolutely. Both 12 and four are both divisible by four. So if I go ahead and do that, if I cut them both by four, I end up getting three to one. Look at that. So here's the thing. This, is, this works for perimeter. Stop, don't go ahead and move on yet. This is for perimeter. You need to make sure you understand that when it comes to area and volume, the ratios are different. And that's because with area, it's squared. And then with uh, volume, it's cubed. So you have to make sure you understand that the ratios for perimeter, since it's just one dimensional, it stays the same. You know, the ratio of the size to the perimeter stays the same. The ratio of the sides to the area, you square it. You square the ratio. And then when it comes to the sides to the volume, you cube the ratio. And again, I do have a video on this, um, and it's on my YouTube channel somewhere, so go ahead and find it. But at the end of the day, we have to understand how topics blend in with each other. This is where ratios blend in with geometry. And if you understand how these concepts truly work, the challenge problems like these aren't really going to affect you. So that's what I'm here for, to help you get that 99 on the ASVAB. So let's go ahead and keep moving forward the right way. And again, grab my free practice test with free video solutions and a free class once a week. And if you already have it, then look forward to my ASVAB All Access program right after I'm done talking here. Let's keep raising that score and get the jobs we want, my party people. I'll see you in the next one.